Item number, SCP-6994. Object class, Keter. Sins of the water, crimes of the sun. Special containment procedures. SCP-6994 is to be contained in a large aquatic containment cell filled with 33 ppm salinity seawater. No recreation, comfort, or non-essential sustenance is to be given to SCP-6994 under any circumstances. Any SCP-6994 instances showing perceived resistance or malice towards Foundation staff should be executed immediately. Display archived procedures. SCP-6994 for X is to be monitored in its natural habitat. Members of TF-7 Kings of Crabs are to stop and redirect any fishing or commercial vessels attempting to enter the area. Description SCP-6994 is the species Bethinimus bassetanus, a form of giant isopod native to the eastern seaboard of the United States and Canada. SCP-6994 bears superficial resemblance to non-anomalous species of giant isopod. SCP-6994 for S biology deviates from other isopods in several key ways. SCP-6994 possess spinnerets akin to terrestrial spiders and use them to secrete a viscous and adhesive fluid. SCP-6994 use this fluid to build shelters as well as to construct sacks of water to aid in onshore exploration. SCP-6994 also have four large scythe-like forelimbs, similar to mantid terrestrial predators. These forelimbs are used primarily for bursts of locomotion, as well as hunting and defense from predators. Lastly, SCP-6994 possess almost human-like levels of sapience. SCP-6994 utilize a symbol-based communication method consisting of both written pictograms and in-person symbols and pantomime using their forelimbs. Addendum 1 During construction on a more permanent on-site holding cell for SCP-6994, new fossil records were found in the seafloor surrounding SCP-6994 for its habitat. Such records indicated that SCP-6994 was non-anomalous and merely an evolutionary relative of traditional aquatic isopods. These findings were considered dubious by head researcher Geraldo Bannock, who ordered further research on the subject. A pair of divers captured and vivisected an instance of SCP-6994 to ascertain its biological makeup. DNA samples and physical similarities showed SCP-6994 was a direct evolution of ancient isopods, and it was deemed non-anomalous and reclassified as SCP-6994 for X. Incident Report On July 17, 2020, four swimmers were reported missing at Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts. Following a further search, SCP-6994 spinnerette threads were located along with tracks leading to a SCP-6994 constructed cave approximately 700 meters offshore. The swimmers' bodies were found inside, vivisected via SCP-6994 for its forelimbs and killed in a manner suggesting care and possible curiosity. Methods used by SCP-6994 appear identical to those used by Foundation agents during their initial dissection. Addendum 2 On May 8, 2021, Geraldo Banagre classified SCP-6994 to Keter, citing previously unseen evidence regarding the evolution of SCP-6994. Following this, more stringent containment procedures were enacted, involving frequent cullings and transfer to on-site containment. To Geraldo Bannock, Senior Researcher, from Odongo Tajani, Ethics Committee Chairman, Subject, SCP-6994 for X. Dr. Bannock, as Ethics Committee Chairman, I know that separating emotions from your work is difficult, but this is too far. SCP-6994 is non-anomalous, and to treat it as a threat for personal reasons is both dishonest and morally reprehensible. I know it's hard, but what you're doing is wrong. We've seen the documents you've put forward, the forged crash reports, the dubious containment breaches, the terrible things that these isopods have clearly never done. You want so badly for them to be some ex-gay monsters, Geraldo, but they're not. They're just bugs. Bugs that killed people, sure. Bugs that killed someone who you care about. But they're just bugs. We've all made sacrifices. I know your daughter was on the beach that day, but when we take it out on the anomalies, it's too far. We secure and contain the anomalies, but we must also protect them. I am moving to reclassify SCP-6994 back to EX. 